here we are at Viva, and this is the Orland. When you walk into your hotel room, you will see something very similar to this, minus the baby on the bed, and minus all the junk. Okay, so the rooms are huge, really, really well appointed, very good rooms. Um, this is the size bureau dresser that you would typically see, and you've got a nice little vanity area over here, which of course I don't use for that because the lighting is horrible, and then you've got a nice little uh, full full length mirror. We've got a really great sitting area, and we actually requested a view of the strip. So here is our view. It's a pretty dang good one. In spite of the parking garage across the street, and here is the bathroom. Pretty decent bathroom. Almost enough room on the vanity, and nice little tub and shower area with a nice window in the shower. So it's really great for letting steam out when you're taking a shower. And today, as you can see, I'm wearing my Freddy, which I'll have seen in a video. I'm really excited by how well they are, how comfortable they are. And I just wore them with a nondescript little, like, blue and white checkered shirt from Old Navy. And my Vans that I've shown you also. These are my favorite purchase in shoes that I have made in a long time. They are so comfortable. Oh my gosh. They're made for dancing, so they're very resilient. And they went, were perfect for walking around the strip all day. We walked and walked and walked. Here. So anyway, that's what we did today. And we went to Mon Ami Gabi, which is a fantastic French restaurant on the strip. And we ate escargot and French onion soup and drank beer and it was wonderful beautiful day and it was a perfect day for eating on the patio so so far today has been great I also wanted to show you guys what I got from Sephora I went to Sephora today the one on the strip which is the most fabulous place. <laughs> it's like I'm like a kid in a candy store and unfortunately I just didn't have very much money. But I was going especially for the Urban Decay 24-7 um, liner which I've heard is really great for the uh, waterline area and that's specifically what I went for. However, and I got the one in zero, um, I also found this which is a Sephora pencil and it's actually five dollars at Sephora um, and it's in this beautiful pearl beige. Do you see how it's not a stark white? Can't really tell, but it's not a stark white. I thought if it comes off well and is soft enough, it might look really good on the waterline, especially during the day when you don't want such a stark finish on your waterline. And we'll see how it works out. And then I bought as an impulse buy the Kat Von D Autograph Liner in Black Metal Love, which is phenomenal, guys. You have to go sample it if you have an opportunity to. It is a dark, pigmented, very, very, very dark black um, liquid liner with glitter flex and like a like a metallic sheen to it, which would not show up on this camera, so I'm not going to even bother showing you right now, but I plan to use it tonight, so we'll see how it holds up. That's all I got. No big haul or anything. Um, so anyway, that's all, and I am very excited to show it to you. See my baby sleeping on the bed? here. Okay, but I'm very excited to have shown all that to you and now I'm going to go about my day and hopefully I can just do some little five minute segments like this over the weekend. I'll also be doing full event coverage for Vintage Life magazine. So we'll be seeing you soon. to introduce you guys to my friend who is staying with me in my room. That's just one of the reasons our room is so disheveled. And this is Miss Moose. You have seen pictures of her. She's really tall, so I'm, this is, this is eye level for me. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all. This is eye level for me. And so I have to go way back. And this is Miss Moose. She's my really good friend, and she's the one who modeled for the Vintage Life feature that I talked about recently. And this is her hair, which we did today. We underpinned. It is not this short. I love it. Sweet. And of course, we've got our daffodil from Bell Blossoms that you guys already saw in a video. Love that too. <laughs> so we're going to go have some fun. She just got here last night. Yay! <laughs>
overview of the vendors. Their shopping seems to be better this year than it has ever been. I'm not sure how that's possible, but it is. Here is one of the vintage shops. Collection of amazing ties. dresses are made like this this day. You don't mind me filming this, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So anyway, little tip. Don't pass it up if you see anything that has this type of seaming. Even if the pattern is not your favorite, do not pass it up because chances are it's going to fit you like a dream. Okay, this is two items that we just found that are utter perfection. And this one. Yeah. I'm shopping vicariously I'm through my friends because I have no cash, but this is one of the other vintage foods, and they have amazing quality stuff. Can you say hi? <laughs> Your new vintage dress? I love it. <laughs> I'm very happy I got it. Reproduction never quite looks the same again after you find something like that. Well, I got the love that thrilled me so. You know who she knows how to rock and roll. She's a tough lover, yeah, yeah. She's a tough lover, She's a tough lover, yeah, yeah. Tough lover. When she kisses me, I get a thrill And when she does that wiggle, I can't get still She's a tough lover, yeah, yeah She's a tough lover, woo She's a tough lover, yeah, yeah Tough lover, uh-huh Seven cents, has got nothing on them Talk about love, she's fast as a win Well, people don't talk about She got me fixed It ain't hoodoo, it's just that twist And she's the greatest love I ever come to pass Tom one ain't got a half of a chance But you make you laugh, make you cry She's so tough, she make a beat it's Blue suede shoes, she's a tough lover, yeah, yeah. She's a tough lover, woo. She's a tough lover, yeah, yeah. I'm here, Mr. Shane. Let me explain. I'm here, Mr. Shane, meet your grand. Bye. 
I'm here, Mr. Shane. Again, I'll explain. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say fair, 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 I even say under the reach language only helps me tell you how grand you are. I try to explain. I'm here, Mr. Shane. So kiss me and say you understand. Jesse James is blue suede shoes. She's a tough lover, yeah, yeah. She's a tough 